You're watching a special edition of Focus on, on CNBC Africa, where I'll be speaking to the CEO and founder of a Lagos-based technology startup on how they're using technology to bridge the gap in business-to-business -business trade in the fast-moving consumer goods space. I'm Kenneth Ibomo, and thank you for joining me today. Now, helping businesses navigate the modern market is part of the job employees at Omnibase have signed up for. Uh, using technology, the company says that they have provided services for over 45,000 retailers as they work to solve the inefficiencies in traditional supply chains. I have with me Dipanka Rustagi, the CEO and co-founder and founder of Omnibiz. He joins me now to put their work in perspective. Uh, thank you so much for your time on the show today, Dipanka. Let's first uh, start off by understanding why retailers should go with the Omnibiz option. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on the show. Uh, Retailers have had the challenge of doing multiple things without having the support of the ecosystem. So retailers have to procure their own goods, have to arrange for working capital, have to uh, manage their logistics, customers, and finally manage their stores. We are in this place, in this space to try and digitize the retailers so they can earn more and they can have a much better return on investment on the capital deployed. So only this provides them a seamless this uh, supply chain with them getting all their goods delivered to their doorstep provides them working capital and provides them tool to manage their business more efficiently well, but in terms of scope the the nigerian market space is quite a huge playground to operate in and i'm trying to understand how far your footprint has spread across the country so we are in six cities in nigeria uh, we are in kano kaduna abuja potharkot lagos ibadan and expanding. All right, it, it, as you say expanding, what should we expect? Uh, our target is every city where the neighborhood area is large enough where the space from the market to the neighborhood areas, distance between the market and the neighborhood area is large, we would be available and make the lives of the neighborhood retailers simpler. So we are working towards 20 cities in Nigeria before the end of next year. But what has that feedback been like, especially in the cities where you're operating? The feedback has been really good. Uh, just imagine for a retailer, he had to go to markets like Okyarin, Mushin, and even after going there, he was not in a position to get all the stock that he set out to achieve. Now, for him, just to place the order on an application on uh, a call center, that he gets all the goods that he wants, 600 plus SKUs on one central place, where he can get all those goods delivered onto his store. So the feedback has been good. We've been able to onboard between seven to 10,000 outlets on a monthly basis onto our platform and growing well. All right, but in terms of that edge that you bring to the market, you know, what would you say is the Omnibus edge? The only biz edge is we are not just um, digitizing the retailers. We are also digitizing the distributors as well as the logistics providers. So the way we have reinvented the system is we have brought in the distributors who have been finding it tough to reach to the retailers. We onboard them and from their places we distribute to the retailers making it simpler and making it a digital ecosystem. Our edge is because we are asset light we don't own any warehouses. We don't own any logistics. Everything is owned by partners in those cities. We can scale much faster, more efficiently as compared to the competition, uh, as compared to what other people's, other companies who are trying to cut the distributors are providing in these markets. All right, I'd like to get more clarity on uh, your your operating operating model here. Uh, yes, I understand that you're trying to solve those inefficiencies that we see play out in the in the uh, supply chains here, and uh, and I also understand that you're also providing some of your retailers with uh, working capital. How does that work out? Absolutely. Uh, so I would take the working capital question first. In terms of providing working capital, you can be on the platform. Once you have done enough transactions, between three to four transactions, we have enough data about you. So we are able to present this data to partner financial institutions who are backing the loans that are giving to these retailers. So you can get loan up to 50,000 Nara instantly, and this scales up as you do more and more transactions. So if you are a retailer who has 200,000 Nara worth of goods, in your store and uh, you are trying to rotate that now is the time for you to come on omnibus 
try and do the transactions build your digital identity and get loans at great prices so you can you can buy now and then pay later after you have sold to your customers that's how it works all right because it's quite a huge task when you look at the the business to business informal chain here in nigeria supply chain here and i'm trying to understand what that journey has been for you like in terms of raising funding so the business and business to business chain here has a great potential there are a large number of retailers this is a market with 1.2 million retailers and uh, we believe this market can scale immensely between 3 to 4 times if the availability of goods was brought in at the right place at the right time so challenge with b2b market is goods are available but way more goods are available in a city and way less goods are available in other in both the scenarios there is loss of sale so in this case uh, in this case the opportunity of b2b has been great i think we have been solving a very big problem and we've been able to raise funds from various investors across the globe nigeria and other places we have recently raised 3 million dollars and we are working towards uh, getting the right investors to scale this journey to service way more retailers and more cities Oh, no, but in terms of impact, when you look at how you plan to spread your footprint, you're saying you're, you, you project about 20, 20 cities in Nigeria in the near future. You know, what sort of impact would you like to live as you, as you spread that footprint across the country? Absolutely. So uh, there are multiple areas where we are creating a significant impact. One is the retailers are contributing significantly to the employment of the country and if we are able to scale these retailers the employment will grow majority of these retailers 76% to be specific are female entrepreneurs with them being able to earn more the livelihood is much better they are able to support their families better there is they are uh, they are able to provide for education and fooding in the houses in a better manner so overall retail when it gets digitized, it builds a truly digital Nigeria or truly digital Africa is our belief. So we are creating the impact on employment, on women entrepreneurs, and as well as in the growth of the overall retail and money made across the chain. Yeah, it's a good one. You mentioned the work you're doing, especially with the retailers, the female uh, female retailers that you're working with, and the kind of impact you're trying to leave in that space. I also understand that uh, even within your workforce, uh, there's that there's still that quite a huge focus on on, on 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 women and the role they are playing in what you're doing. Right. So uh, the role we are playing is we are providing them. So the women entrepreneurs who had to like, if a lady. Uh, has, owns a store she had to step out go into the market face all the challenges in terms of procurement uh, haggle the prices and then find the right transport to bring the goods back that has been solved with the help of omnibus so she does not have to do this and she can always stay up to date with the stock in her store so it does not go out of stock with this she is able to do way more turnover compared to what she was doing before this grows three to four times the turnover that she was providing when she was trying to procure the goods on her own and shut down the shop when she was going out to procure the goods. So this way we are able to provide them a much larger turnover as compared to before. Uh, now looking at how your business is uh, is evolving, you know, I understand that, yes, you, 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 there's some working parts that have been tweaked here. I understand that you recently launched, uh, launched three tech features uh, in, in your work. Now, can you talk us, to, talk us through how this, this, this plays out in your company and what, you, what you're hoping to achieve with these new additions? Absolutely. So I think the th three core features that we have introduced for the retailer on our platform, one has been the ease to order which is order from more than 600 SKUs on a single platform and get the next day delivery onto, into your store. The same has been, we have introduced buy now, pay later option for the retailers who have been on the platform. So you can in, uh, easily increase the working capital that you have into, uh, increase the working capital that you have. So you can transact more, you can uh, generate a much larger turnover. Last and the very important one is with easy supply, increased working capital, you need tools that can help you manage your store more efficiently. So we have provided an application called My Store, which helps the retailers to manage their store, their inventory, their customers and their sales in a much better manner, helping them get uh, scale faster. 
Well, I'm sure many people listening are thinking in their head, okay, well, this company is doing quite a lot in this space and I'm trying to see how I can work with, with them here. But then how do I go about it? Uh, you know, what would you say to somebody who, who has that, that question in mind? Absolutely. So we are a, a company that is built around collaboration and around incentive alignment across different sectors. So if you are a logistics provider, if you are a distributor of FMCG products, if you are uh, a freelancer, an agent or uh, a POS provider, payment agent, we would be happy for you to participate, uh, engage with us in the in the uh, our mission of digitizing the retailers. Please come to our site, omnibus.com, find the right place, depending on which category you belong to, and click and register with us. This would help you reach out to us or reach out through any social media channel. We would be happy to engage and share more details about the partnership, how we can work together in servicing the retail environment. All right, I understand, yes, you mentioned that, yes, you're looking to go expand to 20 cities there, but let's get into more closer 10 projections. And uh, in the line of work you're doing, looking at how the economy of Nigeria is playing out, uh, I'd like to understand wh where you see uh, this line of business going in the, in the near to medium term. Absolutely. So there are going to be two uh, important things in terms of scale, which is going to happen here. Number one is we are going to expand to more cities, like I mentioned, from six cities to 20 cities. But we are also going to try and expand to offering the service to other channels. There are hotels, restaurants, cafes, there are bakers, there are salons, there are uh, um, pharmaceutical companies, which fall into the same segment where they are facing the challenge of getting the supplies, managing their stores, and raising incremental working capital for their business. Omnibus, after um, helping the neighborhood retailers, would also build these channels in these cities to try and grow the trade, the B2B trade in this market. So uh, we would be able to scale the business for every retailer around us. I've been speaking to Dipanka Rustagi, the CEO and founder of Omnibiz. And that's all from this special feature on how technology can help businesses in the FMCG space. I'm Kenneth Bomo. Enjoy the rest of your day.